So before we get to the truck, who remembers this little guy <laughs> from a handful of videos back? What a majestic five pointer. Anyways, just finished a European mount on this dude. Broke the end of his freaking nose off figures. Looks great. If you guys would like to see a video on how I do one of these, if I happen to get another deer by the end of the year, I can show you how I do it on my Brotherhood Outdoors channel. If you want to follow that, links are always in the description below. But yeah, turned out pretty good. So I've actually got a couple of things for the first gen. One is going to be this bumper from LMC Truck, and the other is actually going to be a shift knob for the shifter because it currently has an ugly, boring looking one on it. So we got ourselves a beautiful Cummins power shift knob. I think it's gonna look pretty good in there. Now, of course, you can see the one that's in it right now. It's got no medallion in the middle. That tells you the speed anyways. So I thought maybe this would be a better replacement option. And uh, yes, we are still waiting on our center console, but it'll be done any day now. Let's get this thing swapped over. Apparently it was a 14 millimeter nut. Check that out. I love that. Got the front bumper. It is unbolted. So we're going to take the bumper off and then transfer the four carriage bolts that we need from that in the brackets over to this bumper. And hopefully that goes smooth. That was close. Super close touching the fender there. Cat thinks he's hiding behind that little yellow patch of weed. So what I'm gonna try to do, these carriage, these carriage bolts are just completely stuck. Um, you guys that have ever tried to take these out to try to salvage them, you know that it's darn near impossible on these old things. Just kind of rips into pieces. So I'm gonna try to cut the heads of these off. The bumper I'm not planning on keeping, it's pretty banged up. Uh, scratched up and stuff like that so I'm just gonna probably trash it but I'm gonna try to cut all the heads of these off and we're gonna have to just buy new carriage bolts at the local hardware store around the corner that way we can get brand new ones to put on this bumper so we have all new shiny parts well we got the front bumper off got the carriage bolts ground off of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this video up for now. I'm gonna pick it back up in the morning. And once I get out here in the morning, hopefully we can get this bumper popped back on this truck and maybe a couple of other things between this truck or the new 24 valve. So stay tuned. Next day. Let's get at it. I just absolutely love small town hardware stores. Who else has like a favorite small town hardware store? So I'm like about to go into our little hardware store near us and I can call them at any time in the day pretty much, as long as they're open. I always get a response. They're always super happy to talk to me. And they're always trying to do whatever they can to try to get me to come to their store in like the kindest fashion. So like, I was like, hey, I'm looking for a carriage bolt. Well, I'm sure we can find it for you. What size? And then I tell them what size. They're like, absolutely. We'll have them sitting here on the desk when you get in here in the next five minutes. I'm like, thank you so much. Like just little things that you didn't ask them to do, like ask them to get them ready for you. I just wanted to know if they had them and then I would figure it out from there, but they just do the extra little things and they're like, can't wait to see you in here. I don't know. To me, that just goes a long ways. And I feel like all the really big commercialized like shops and stores, like they don't really do that kind of thing anymore, but that's what makes me enjoy these little small town hardware stores so much. I got to say guys, I really like driving this truck. I used to kind of, kind of hate on 24 valves a little bit as like, oh, you know, the VP 44s that kind of suck, you know, you could get a 53 block and, you know, they're not going to run as long without having any kind of issues. The injectors are more expensive, the fuel systems are more expensive, like whatever. In a sense, some of that stuff is true, but if you have a good fuel system on the truck and you have a good lift pump and you drive the thing and take care of it and maintain it, I can definitely see why there's a lot of guys that would really like driving these things. They're comfortable. Got the bolts. We should be ready to go. If you didn't have enough things to trip over in your shop already, get yourself a cat. So what we're gonna do is uh, put the carriage bolts on the bumper with the brackets, and then we're gonna set this up and run the bolts through, and the bumper's good. So we got the carriage bolts ran in here, and the bolts and the washers ran. I picked up some brand spanking new ones, so they look they look really good. I haven't seen the other side yet. I'm hoping they didn't like somehow mess up the bumper. I mean, it looks really good to me. Look how clean that thing is. Wow. So we're gonna get this put on the truck, show you guys what it looks like. So the way that this bumper mounts up is the brackets kind of sit on either side of this end of the frame here and this end of the frame here. So you kind of got to slide it on either side of it and hold it in place and run 
about four bolts or at least three so it doesn't you know tilt back down at least one on one side and two on the other so i have my brother out here what's up, what up? you ready yeah it's pretty cool yeah it's it's freaking cool so we're gonna try to get this bumper out as quick as we can it's gotta go in more that bumper's much better that yeah, bumper's way nicer you really think so yeah this should have been like the first mod we did yeah, probably. So the bumper is on, it's all tightened up and bolted in place, and I freaking love it. The old bumper, as you guys could tell, um, this one, I'll flip it over so you can see what it looks like. For those of you who want to see a reminder, I mean, it has, you know, cuts and rust and holes from all the plastics that were snapped on, all kinds of stuff. This one's basically polished. It's a new chrome bumper, though, and it just uh, looks so much better. The new carriage bolts, look good tightened on in there got a few smudges on it that's how shiny and clean it was when we got it I mean it was like fingerprint sensitive much better look for the truck saying goodbye to the Federals so for anybody wondering yes the Federals will be for sale I'll tell you what the tires are the tires are a 35 by 1250 R18. And I'm just gonna sell them on those rims, even though the rims aren't really much to look at. I'll just sell them together because rims aren't worth much more separate anyways. 700 bucks for the wheels and the tires. Anybody wants them? 700 bucks. <laughs> So I went in for a little Chick-fil-A lunch break, but we got the fronts done. We got the fourth gen stocks in the front end. I really like them. So now, now we're gonna swap out the back set and get these on the truck. Stocks are on. I actually really like that look. On these second gens, these stocks pretty much sit with the body lines on these trucks, at least with the fourth gen stocks. They pretty much sit with the body lines, which I like. And you can fully clear them, turn back and forth. This truck's got a three inch body lift on it that we're gonna get rid of, but even on this truck stock, the stock wheels and tires off of a fourth gen pretty much clear, totally fine as well. But yeah, it's all on, looks good. Excited for it. I've actually got to run this truck to pick up a couple bags of feed. Nothing too heavy for that bed with that stupid body lift and they're missing half the freaking spacers for that the bed portion of the lift. We'll do a couple things. Go by the bank to get some more cash for the orders because we're doing cash in every single order placed today, which is your last day to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. So if you haven't done so yet, it is your final day, final couple hours, and then this giveaway, gone. And then also between this giveaway and the next one, there's gonna be a few weeks again. It's not gonna be back to back. So for the guys that like that, sorry, we're gonna make sure that we get all the orders shipped out for this giveaway before we start the next one like we did with the last giveaway. So hopefully you guys can understand that. We wanna try to do the best thing possible before continuing on to the next one. But looking at this truck, remember this truck is a 93, it's four wheel drive, five speed manual. And this truck's not completely done yet in terms of some interior pieces that gotta go in still and some other small components. For the most part, it is. I mean, there's nothing mechanically that we still gotta do the truck. Everything is perfectly sound, runs great, it drives great. The only thing that I would be kind of disappointed that we weren't able to get done before today, the closing day of the giveaway, is the center console in the interior and the column cover still is not here. But other than that, those two things in the tent is still gonna get done. And then this truck, it's complete so when you get it it's going to be done hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you haven't done so yet and also remember again if you want to enter to win this truck all you have to do is place an order on our website and you're automatically entered to win you get 10 times the entries compared to the normal and we're putting cash in every single order we'll catch you in the next video peace